Hey, what's up everyone? DNINIA123 here. And today I want to show you my top free Cydia tweaks for the iOS 10.2 jailbreak. As you can see, I'm jailbroken. So, let's get on with the first most important tweak. Here we go. Alright, so here's the first tweak. It's called No Message Crash. Now what it is, is if you know about the new iMessage crash bug, you send it to a friend it's basically like a, it's basically like a, uh, a white flag zero and a rainbow. And basically what this does is, hold on, it's reloading, whatever. What it does is it blocks it before app, it fixes that bug before Apple gets to it. So here, here we go. Zoom. Here we go. Here. It's a proof of concept. Concept. I have my iPad here. Hold on. It's a proof of concept. Let me first send it to my iPhone. Give me one minute. So here it is. Let me send it to myself. Here it is. So this is the malicious text. You don't see it right now. So look, on my device here, look, I'm going to send it. Now look, swipe. Usually it would just crash. Do wait for this to say delivered? <coughs> Sorry about that. There you go. It was delivered, as you can see, the one right there. I didn't crash my device. It's not a one, it's a three. Sorry, I made a mistake. Still hasn't been delivered. See, it says malicious text blocked. Then look, if I go here to my messages, malicious text blocked. See? That's it. <coughs> uh, as you can already see, my messages app is dark mode. See? Dark mode, dark keyboard, even peek and pop is in dark mode. So that's cool. There's no option to configure for this and no option to configure for the text message crash. Okay, put that aside. Uh, everyone should have this. It's called Anemone. It's a theming app, so you could theme basically your whole device. There's so many themes to choose from. These are the ones I have downloaded could download thousands, maybe even millions from this, from Cydia. And not all of them are free, but I have a few that are free, like Ludus. As you can see, this is what it looks like. That's what I have installed right now. It's awesome. And no option to configure, it just adds this little app right here. The next trick I want to show you is called icon bounce. If you can look look at my dock, see? The icons are moving around. Here's the settings for it. Okay, an icon bounce. You could choose the animations. Move them around. Change the bounce intervals, the animation duration. It's really nice. The next app, uh, if you don't have it, if you're jailbroken and you don't have this app, you're not jailbreaking correctly. Trust me. This is called Zeppelin. Basically, I'm going to enable this right now. As you can see up here, it says iPhone. You can make a custom text. Let me enable this. Have any, basically get any logo you want here. And most of them are free. And it comes with a bunch of pre-installed ones. So let me show you a couple of pre-installed ones. You can see there's a Superman up there right now. For example, if I want to go to, let's say, I don't know, Cloud. But now it's saying it's a weird, it doesn't work properly, so you have to lock your device and then unlock it for the, the uh, carrier logo to take place. And there's so many to choose from. Let me show you one that I downloaded. Like, you can have Nintendo logo lock. And I have that. And I like just having a custom text. I have a custom text here. Let me show you what you need to do to get the custom text to work, because it won't work. You have to first add eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then type whatever you want. Like, I can say I have a different carrier. Like, I can say I have a T. A, T, and T. Save. See? Do people think I have AT and T? No, I'm gonna leave it like that. This is so this is so cool. The next tweak I want to show you is called Flick Control Center. 
it basically gives you more toggles up here. You could go through, look through them, and more toggles down here. Whoops. Down here. It's just awesome. And with the toggles up here, you can like 3D touch and let's say Wi-Fi. And it brings you to the Wi-Fi settings. Or you can, whoops, that's another tweak that's not free. And you could also go to, for example, 3D touch on battery, brings you to battery mode. And that battery turns on low power mode, which is awesome. But for some reason, there's a glitch. For some reason, the flashlight app, you can't 3D touch to change the, um, the brightness. So that doesn't work too well. So yep, that's Flip Control Center. Here are the settings to configure. Here's Flip Control Center settings. You can suppress from lock screen. You can choose what you don't want up here on the lock screen. You can change your active switches. You can see how many you want for, for page, or you can have unpaged. So many settings here. And CC toggle, CC colors, CC where all that doesn't work. None of those work, so Flip Control Center is your best bet. This is the next week. You have to get this if you're jailbreaking on iOS 10. It's called Mikoto. Uh, there are two settings in here that's the main reason you want to get this. First, you go to Settings here. Whoops. Go to Settings, and here are the two settings. Software Update Disabler. You cannot turn this off. If you try to turn it off, it won't let you. Also, Reset All Disabler. You try to turn it off, it won't work. See? It won't work. So, yep, and you could also do a lot more settings here. You could change camera, disable shutter, photos, you could do like a lot of different settings here. Uh, I don't think I looked here. Nice stuff. So then if you go, if you want to go here, go to general. See, there's no software update. Well, if I go all the way down to reset, there's no reset all or erase all, none of that. Because on iOS 10, if you update, it's bad for the jailbreak and you won't be, and you'll have to wait for the next jailbreak. And if you erase all, reset all settings while you're jailbroken through the phone, it's really bad for your device. It'll like go in a boot loop, so it's bad. And as you can see here, this right here, this is called, I think it's called Cask. I think that's what it is. Yeah, this is a cask, and you can change the setting of the duration. I have a stretch right now. This is what it looks like. like and I could show you, whoops. I could also show you, like, fade. Okay, this is what fade looks like. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. This is what fade looks like. Not that much, not that interesting. Go back here, you can change it to slide. And it adds it like that. That's I, I like this. This is also cool. But I like grow. Let me just show you one more. Let me just show you a stretch. This is what stretch looks like. It stretches it out. I like grow. Style. Grow. Yep, that's cask. The next tweak, as you can see right here, it's called alkaline. I don't have it enabled right now. Example, you could go change the theme to a different... Um, you make your battery different. These are the three that it comes with. Bolus, Habesha, and Spots. I'll show you Habesha, I like that. And these are uh, these Apple ones, the ones I downloaded, go back. And you have to enable it. Dang it. Enable it and respring. Alright, it's respring. Look at the battery up here. See? Looks nice. The next tweak is called Cylinder, and if you, if you know what Barrel is, it costs money and there's not that many effects, but with Cylinder, there's so many more effects. What it basically does is give your home screen a nice transition through pages, so I could, and you can select combinations, let me deselect this. This is the other one I have selected, yeah, right here. You can disable one at a time, or you can do, yeah, let's look at card horizontal. That looks nice. You could, really cool, there's so many to choose from, and I think you can even download more from Cydia. Suck, let's look at that. That looks nice. You could do so many, I, I, let me select a bunch. 
and we put on randomize. Let's look, that looks nice. This is nice. I like this. Could do so much. That cylinder. The next trick I want to show you is called Fingal. As you can see, if you look at my Maps app, it's moving. If you look at like the Photos app, see the photo over oh, here. You can look at the Photos app, the Cam app is seeing a picture. Settings is twisting. You can wallet. It's, it's all alive. And if you look at Safari, that moves around. That changes color. It's all alive. It's it, it doesn't, on the Reddit page, it doesn't officially say it supports iOS 10, but I've tested it and it works fine. Let me show you the settings for it. Here's the settings for Fingo. You can basically download from online, and there's also, I think it's called Shake Something, that has a whole bunch. These are the ones I have enabled right now. These are the other ones I can enable. Every time you do it, you have to respring. Another tweak is called No Today View iOS 10. You can disable the today view. See, there's no today view right here. And what's good about that is this goes with another tweak called Mobius. Which basically, it you scroll infinitely through your pages. Infinite scrolling. So that's one of the reasons why no today view is there. So you can scroll infinitely without the today view messing you up. Here is better five icon dock. There's no settings to configure, basically it just gives you five icons on your dock. And here's TS Protector 8. This is, you should definitely get this, TS Protector 8. You need this. If you have Super Mario Run, get this app. It's free. It says you can only download, it says you can only protect one app. So I have Super Mario Run, but for some reason it lets me choose multiple. I guess, I don't know. So basically, because Super Mario Run has jailbreak detection, which means you cannot use it when you're jailbroken. So I have that enabled, and I have um, Super Mario Run on the blacklist. So now it works fine with the jailbreak. Usually, as soon as you open it, it crashes. See? Hold on. Works perfectly, see? I could do that with almost any app. Like, for example, I have the, here's Direct TV. that's also jailbreak detection. You can use uh, TS Protector for this, or you can use another app called Flex, Flex 3, to remove jailbreak detection. So you could go here, um, if you want, leave me in the comments, let me know if you want me to show you a tutorial of how to uh, remove jailbreak detection from Direct TV. And you should also get this other app tweak from Cydia called XCon. Can't show you right now because there's like nothing to, there's nothing to do. It basically removes the um uh jailbreak detection from apps like any app it removes the jailbreak detection. But with direct T V for some reason XCon doesn't work alone to remove jailbreak detection and Flex doesn't work alone to remove it. So you need to have both for to remove jailbreak detection and for some reason. I don't know. And there's also clear folders. And I also have four by four folders. I'll leave uh, a list of all the tweaks in the description, plus all the sources that you need to get them, because some of these need custom sources. So, so that's it. If you want, I if you want, I'll make another video of my top tweaks, and they don't have to be free. So remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I'll be making a lot more tweak videos, so bye, peace. Hey, thank you for watching my video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I had a lot of stuff going on, I, and I couldn't think of ideas. I, I told you all about it on my Twitter. Uh, go follow me on Twitter, it's at Dinino. Um, so thank you for watching. Remember to click right here for my previous video, and down here to subscribe. It works on mobile. Peace.